What is up YouTube, Alex here again from Mojave Repeater and we have a little bit of a change of scene today because it's not every day that your friend lets you use their multi-million dollar Palm Springs apartment to film. So we took advantage of that today. Thanks Steve. Anyway, uh, what we have for you today is a covert comms video. So covert or low vis comms is typically employed by private security um, or others doing work in executive protection or other types of jobs like that. So I'm going to go through a little bit of kit and kind of considerations when you're employing comms in a low vis environment. So first I'd like to say that this video is not sponsored by anyone. All of the gear that you see in this video is purchased by me with my own funds. So I'll drop links in the description below to some of the stuff that I use that you'll see in this video um, so that you can go out and you can get that stuff for yourself. So to get started here, what I have is a pretty lightweight windbreaker. Um, you know, if you're a high speed guy, you might buy like an Arc'teryx windbreaker or something, but you know, something like that probably screams, hey, I'm a cop. If you look like a cop, then people are going to probably think that that's what you are. So anyway, this is just a lightweight windbreaker that I got from a local store. Um, and it's getting kind of warm out, obviously. So, you know, something lightweight will help you blend in a little bit, but still conceal some of the stuff that you have on you. So underneath this windbreaker, what I have is a Spiritus Systems bank robber. This is the best low vis chest rig, I think, in my opinion, that you can buy. Um, you know, it's really lightweight and really slim to the body. Um, so some of you skinny guys out there are probably going to have an advantage here uh, being able to conceal some more stuff on your actual body itself. So what you have is basically four pouches straight across the front and then two smaller pouches on either side. Um, you'll notice that I'm carrying two magazines and there's plenty of experts out there that can tell you exactly how many rounds that you need to survive. So I'll leave that up to them. My job in the military, I was more concerned with running out of snacks in the field than running out of ammo. So I'll leave that all up to the experts. But anyway, on my left side, I'm carrying just a standard Baofeng UV5R with an extended battery. And on the right side, what I have is a portable power pack. Now this is really useful because the Baofeng with the extended battery has a port that I can plug a USB charger into uh, that I can plug straight into this power bank and be able to extend you know, the length of my operations for you know, an extended period of time, depending on how long I may be out there walking around needing to talk on the radio for. Um, additionally, I can power other things like my phone um, and stuff like that that I'm going to be keeping in my pockets and it's not going to be you know, too clunky, whereas I might not keep a power bank in my pocket. It easily fits in one of these mag pouches, so it's a lot easier to carry on me. Um, now, working a little bit further over to the right, what I have here is a Gotenna Pro, and that's just simply clipped into the side in one of the smaller pouches. Um, and the Gotenna is great for a covert setup because it gives you access to position, location uh, information uh, that you can see from other teammates on your team, and they can see your position as well, including being able to chat. So I have this simply hooked up to my phone via Bluetooth, and I'm using the app on my phone to be able to view a map and get some situational awareness about my whereabouts, or about my surroundings. Um, now, for a truly covert setup, you might have like a Hello Kitty or anime phone case or something like that. Obviously mine is you know, a Magpul phone case that's pretty obviously tactical. But if you're gonna be truly uh, doing covert operations and you might wanna get something that blends in a little bit more. Now to zoom in on the Baofeng here a little bit, the thing that truly makes this low vis and undercover is the ability to connect the Apple headphones to it. So what I've done is I purchased an adapter from Covert Arms. You can follow them at Covert Arms on Instagram or covertarms.com. And what that does is it adapts the standard two pin Baofeng plug to you know, just a regular three and a half millimeter stereo jack that I could plug in um, you know, any regular headset into. And this Apple headset is probably the most low vis thing that you can get um, because there's a lot of people walking around with them. They might be wondering why you still have a wire on your headphones as opposed to the AirPods that you see every day. But you know, this is a pretty low vis option uh, to be able to both talk 
and to listen on the radio. Now, what this also gives me is another wire that acts as my push to talk. So what I have here is a clip that simply has the push to talk button run down the sleeve on my jacket. So I can, you know, simply just get that in my hand. Um, you know, as I'm walking, if I need to transmit, I just click on that button and you would never know that I'm transmitting on the radio by doing that. Um, so one of the things that comes to mind when you're talking about covert, um, you know, or low vis considerations is compromise. So I do also have a small stubby flexible antenna on this Baofeng radio. And no matter what you do, you know, these short little stubby antennas are going to impact the performance of your radio. There's just no way around that. But you know, what I've done here is I've chosen to run a stubby antenna because it keeps my kit very tight and neat. And it's much more easy to conceal than that typical Baofeng stick or a whip antenna. Um, so the compromise there is that I may be lacking a little bit of performance, but, uh, but I'm trading that for the concealability. So compromise is always a factor when you're dealing with any sort of, you know, weaponry, radio comms, or anything like that. So I chose to, to run this covert arm stubby antenna. It's flexible and it's easy to conceal. Um, and then on my Go antenna here, what I did was I went out and purchased a flexible gooseneck antenna from Octane Wireless, and I'll, per I'll put the link to purchase down below. Um, and that gives me the ability to kind of, you know, tuck that against my chest so that I can more easily wrap that up. So when you're talking about a covert situation, one thing that's going to be very important that your Baofeng radio can't do for you is to be able to encrypt your comms. So, you know, any sort of transmission that goes out over an unencrypted net, you have to be of the understanding that somebody could be listening to that. So, you know, if you take yourself seriously as a private security detail or contractor, then you're going to have to be running encrypted comms. So you might want to replace the Baofeng with something like this Anytone 878. Now this is not your top of the line encrypted radio. However, um, it is capable of AES-256 encryption, which I think at a minimum is what you should be running. Um, you know, it's not super durable or waterproof, but what it does have is the same standard Kenwood two pin adapter, uh, you know, or plug on the side so that I could run this same wire, um, you know, into this radio. So basically, you know, the compromise here is that I'm not running the top of the line radio, but I do have the ability to run these covert headphones, which, you know, may be more valuable for you than running the most expensive, fancy radio. Like this Hytera, for example. So this is a much better radio, but I'm not currently aware of an adapter that is made to be able to plug, you know, these standard Apple headphones into this radio. To demonstrate what this looks like, we're going to go walk around town a little bit and kind of show you how we blend in and talk on the radio, you know, while we're just kind of walking around getting food and whatnot. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the short video. Um, I hope you liked it. If you have suggestions or comments, please leave them down below uh, below this video. Let, let me know what you guys want us to talk about in the next video. Um, you know, if you like the video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Um, I know that the majority of viewers are probably not subscribed, so let's change that. Hit the subscribe button and watch all the rest of our videos, and we'll be back next time for another video.